Watercolor Equipment Part 2, The Brushes. With watercolor, you just really need to have two brushes. That's okay to have more, and after a while you'll probably accumulate more and more brushes. But in the beginning, you just need a flat brush, often called a wash brush. And that could be anywhere from a one inch to a such as this older one, to a three-quarter inch brush, either one or the other. The idea with these things is they hold a lot of paint. In the first stages of the painting, you'll be doing a lot of big, broad applications of paint. So you want a large brush for that, and you'll probably find that a flat brush is very, very good for doing these large applications of paint. Then you're going to want to have a round brush. You want something about a number 10. It's okay to be a little larger, a little smaller. The sizes aren't consistent between brands, but you want something roughly this size. The idea with a round brush is, of course, you can paint smaller. Make some very fine marks. You can also paint kind of medium size. So you don't need to have a little tiny brush. What you want to have is a brush that has a good point. The newer brushes will have a better point than older brushes. That's what wears out the first thing with them. More expensive brushes will probably have a better point and keep them longer than cheaper brushes. But you need to get a fairly good brush for anywhere from 10 to $15 that'll last you for years. Now, the big difference is the hairs. That white nylon would be the least expensive and would be okay. Then there is golden nylon, which would be the next price and quality point up. Then there's blends of natural and artificial hairs. There's all natural brushes, and some of those can be quite expensive. And then there's some fairly new types of artificial hair that are quite good. Most expensive brushes you're going to find will be Red Sable. So this is a Richardson Pure Kolinsky Red Sable brush and it is really really nice. But you don't need to buy these things, at least for a while. But they are quite sensitive, make some fabulous types of marks. But they are real expensive. Another thing with the watercolor brushes is you don't have to be quite so careful about keeping them clean. If you have a dirty brush and that paint dries on there, you just stick it in the water and wash that paint off and then you've got a clean brush. So a brush can sit with that paint on it for days and it won't really hurt it where with oil and acrylic brushes you really want to clean those things out. Easy way to tell the difference between a watercolor brush and an oil painting brush is the length of the handle. So you see how you have a much shorter handle on a watercolor style brush. So hopefully that's helpful. So I will see you in the next video.